I just came back from Hobby Lobby. I purchased some denim fabric for the next garment I want to make, which is a simplicity pattern. And I'm actually going through my pattern drawer looking for the pattern so that I can cut it out. I have all my patterns like categorized. I have simplicity, macaws, and all that. So it should be somewhere in here. Oh, here it is right here, right here. Simplicity 97.54. I really like the pants. They look like they have kind of like a drop crotch kind of action going on and I like that look. So yeah, this is gonna be the next thing I cut out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pattern pieces. Okay, so I am about to dive in. I'm gonna start cutting out these pieces. I have pretty much been in my sewing room all day. I got up this morning and I made a McCall's romper. And I had made this pattern before and I really like it. The first time I made it, I made the full long version, the jumpsuit version, and it was really low in the back and my bra was showing. So this time with the romper, I made sure to add some paper to the back pattern piece so that I can raise the back up and my bra wouldn't be showing and I raised it up about two and a half inches and then I went into the line of the back edge of the pattern so that was one change the other change that I made was just to shorten the hem like kind of high because the pattern said to narrow him around the edges of the leg but I wanted my romper short and so I went up about an inch and three quarters in a hem. And so I like how that turned out. There are only two main pattern pieces and then you have the piece that you cut out for elastic. And the fabric that I use is fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics and it's called Faux Cashmere. I made the romper in an extra small and for these pants, I'm cutting out size eight, which is actually the smallest size in this pattern. As I was cutting out the pattern pieces, I thought about it. And since this is my first time making these pants, I decided that I'm not going to add the carriers or the front and back pockets. So I was actually able to eliminate six pattern pieces and I only had to cut out eight. I forgot to mention that this pattern is rated as average. I just finished completing the button fly opening here. There are buttonholes that will go into the front waistband area and the pattern calls for 3 8 of an inch wide twill tape. Just pin the waistband on so I will be sewing that next but this is how the pants are looking in the front. Here's a quick view of the back. These pants have a drawstring in the waist area and they are really nice and roomy, very comfortable. And I paired it with a top that I made a couple of years ago that just so happened to match perfectly. I just came back from Joanne Fabrics. I went to pick up a couple notions and while I was there I did pick up this denim fabric and I think I want to make a pair of shorts out of this fabric and the pattern that I'm thinking about does call for an invisible zipper so I did pick up this to go with that and I picked up some thread to match also so here's the thread and then I just needed these so I got those I picked up some fray check this comes in handy when you're cutting open buttonholes and then I picked up a pattern, Simplicity 9554. And I wanna make this shirt at some point and I think I wanna turn it into a dress.